Good day, the trigonometry skateboard ramp problem. So my brother gave me a call the other day. He makes skateboard ramps. Here he is on his skateboard. He listens to punk rock music, so I gave him a mohawk here. So he called me and asked me this problem the other day. Okay, so he's making a skateboard ramp, and he wants it to be four feet tall. Okay, so this, this portion of it here is four feet tall. From here to here, four feet. And he wants to know if the radius is six and a half feet. So here's the skateboard, the half pipe. Six and a half foot, this, this is a part of a circle, that the radius is six and a half feet. Okay, here's the radius, six and a half feet. How much wood does he need here? Okay, so we're going to be solving for this variable S, the length of the wood here. That if he wants it to be four feet tall, and it's six and a half foot radius, how much wood, what is the length of the piece of plywood that he's going to place down here? Okay, so we're going to be solving for this, this S. All right, so the first thing we do is convert these six and a half feet and four feet into inches. Okay, so six and a half feet, that's six feet, six inches. Okay, four feet. Okay, so that's basically 12 inches times four. Okay, that gives us 48 inches. Six feet, that's gonna be six times 12. Okay, that's 72 plus six inches. So that's gonna equal 78 inches. Okay, so that's the first thing we wanna do is convert the feet into inches. All right, so we have 78 inches and 48 inches. Okay, kind of move those around a little bit. Okay, so this will be the radius and this will be the height. Okay, so if the height is 48 inches, we have 48 inches here. We know that the radius is six and a half feet. So simply subtract 48 from six, uh, the 48 from the six and a half, and we'll get this remaining distance here. Okay, so that's simple. We're just going to take 78 inches minus 48 inches. Okay, that gives us 30 inches. So we know that this portion right here this triangle is going to be 30 inches so i'll draw that in 30 inches okay i'm going to erase this stuff here if you don't have it go ahead and press pause and write it all down or rewind it if you need to all right so what we're going to use basically is trigonometry here and we're going to find what we need to find is this angle Okay, so to use that, we're going to use our Sokotoa. And let's see, what do we have here? We have this angle. We're looking for this angle, okay, of the triangle. We have the hypotenuse, okay, like we said, that's, I'm sorry, that's uh, the radius. That equals 78 inches. And we have the adjacent side, which is 30 inches. So we have adjacent and hypotenuse. Okay, here's the hypotenuse. Here's the adjacent side. Here's the hypotenuse. If we're looking for this angle, this would be the opposite. Okay, the opposite side. But we have the, we have the length. We don't have this length. We have this length here. We know that's 30 inches, this length here. So we have the hypotenuse and the adjacent side from this angle, the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So what is adjacent and hypotenuse? That looks like cosine. Cosine is adjacent and hypotenuse. So we know we're not doing sine, we're not doing tangent, we're gonna be using cosine. Okay, so we're saying cosine of the angle, let's call this angle theta, okay, equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So we're going to say cosine of angle theta equals 30 over 78. Okay, 30 inches over 78 inches. Now, we're looking for the angle, okay? We have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. 
but we need to figure out the angle. So what we do to, to do that is we're going to use the inverse cosine function. So we're looking for the angle. We don't know this angle, but we know the ratio of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Okay, we know the ratio, but we don't know the angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our calculator. We're going to use the inverse cosine function. Inverse means basically switching out the input and the outputs. So cosine of 30 over 78 equals angle theta. See what I did? I swatched, uh, switched the input and the output. Okay, that's a, the, your, your cosine, your inverse. Okay, inverse. Inverse function. Okay, swapping the input and the output. Okay, I simply swap this for this. Okay, that's inverse, inverse of your function. Okay, so getting out a calculator, we're going to plug this in here. So we have our calculator out, and we're going to use the inverse cosine function, 30 divided by 78. Okay, and that gives us our angle. So this equals... 67.380135 degrees. Okay, it keeps on going a little bit, dot, 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 but we're just going to, let's just say 67.38 degrees. Okay, we'll just kind of round it off. Approximately 67.38 degrees. Okay, so that's this angle here. Okay, we got this angle. 67.38 degrees. Now to find this, this length here, we're going to convert these degrees into radians. Okay, we're going to convert it into radians. And to do that, we take the number here that we have this 67 degrees. Okay, we're going to multiply that times pi over 180 degrees. That's going to give us a number in radians. Okay, so we take our calculator, we figured out the cosine, the inverse cosine. So now we're going to multiply that, the answer, by pi divided by 180. Okay, that gives us in radians 1.176 and some change. Okay, dot, dot, dot. Radians. 1.6, 1 1.176 radians. Okay, that's simply a different way of measuring this angle. Instead of degrees, we're using radians. Okay. Instead of degrees, normally you have 360 degrees, we're going to use radians. Okay, radians. All right, don't forget what we're working with here is the angle theta. Okay, and the last thing we have to do here is to solve for this S. We're going to use this formula that theta equals S over R. Okay, theta equals S over R. So we have 1.176 radians equals S over R. Remember, R is the radius, and we said that's 78 inches. Okay, final step. I'm going to go ahead and erase some of this stuff. Uh, here we go, erasing it. Final step, what we're going to do is just simple algebra. Take the 78 inches, multiply it by 1.176 radians. So we have S equals 1.176 radians times 78 inches. And S equals approximately 91.7 inches. And there's our final answer. So if my brother wants to make a skateboard ramp that's four feet tall 
And he said that the average radius of a skateboard ramp is six and a half feet for most professional skateboard parks. If he wants it to be four feet tall, then the amount of wood that he's going to lay down here, the amount of wood that he's going to lay down on the skateboard ramp, okay, is going to be approximately 91.7 inches. Just on the safe side, if he's working construction, say 92 inches, gives him a little bit of room to work with. He could shave off a little bit off the top. And this is your trigonometry skateboard ramp problem. I hope you enjoy it. If you like this type of content, uh, please leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe to my channel. And look out for more of these videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.